Something which always accompanies uniform circular motion is centripetal acceleration. And this comes about because this object is constantly changing its velocity. Remembering that acceleration describes a change in velocity rather than the change of speed, as velocity has both magnitude and direction as its effective quantity. Because it's effective quantity, that means that if there's a change in direction, that means there's a change in the in the quantity. That means there's a change in the velocity itself. Ergo, if there's a change in direction of this object, that means that acceleration does occur. So. Which direction does this acceleration occur? This acceleration occurs towards the centre, uh, which means the force is acting towards the centre of the circle as well. And this is also perpendicular to the velocity. And this is always so, and this characterises uniform circular motion, that this action of the velocity being perpendicular to the acceleration, so they are always 90 degrees to each other. Centripetal acceleration can be mathematically described as v squared over R is equal to acceleration. Proof can be found in the AQA textbook. Remembering the relation between acceleration and force, you can also bring about the concept of centripetal force towards the centre, which is equivalent to the acceleration times by the mass MA is equal to F from normal linear, linear motion. So, if we take this but this man who's swinging this ball, as it's constantly changing direction in the circle, it, that means it's accelerating towards the centre and its velocity is always changing as discussed earlier. But, uh, with this acceleration component, we also end up with a force towards the centre, which is known as the centripetal force. Now, this centripetal force can be characterised in many different scenarios. For example, in this, it would be the tension of the string, which is drawing the, drawing the ball towards the centre and thus causing the ball to move in uniform circular motion. Uniform circular motion comes in all sorts of shapes and sizes. For example, take this small rock orbiting around this large planet. As you can see, it is moving in uniform circular motion as it is moving in a circle, quite obviously, and its velocity is always changing its acceleration toward the centre. Sorry if I'm emphasising that a lot, but it's key to get that fact in. Now, as it's moving in a circle and its force is moving towards the centre, that means there is centripetal force caused by gravity as it is the force causing, the, causing this object to move towards this object. Remembering the relation we made earlier of F is equal to ma, or force is equal to mass times the acceleration, we can also come up with an equation for uniform circular motion. So if we take this acceleration component and the equation for the centripetal acceleration, which is v squared over r is equal to a, we can very easily form an equation of force is equal to mass velocity squared times by r to give the centripetal force in a circle, and this is a very easy way to derive the equation.